on. It's been a while. It's been about two weeks. Um, I've been well. I finished uni for, the, for my second year, so I decided you know what, I'm going to keep give myself two weeks off just to relax, chill out after what's been quite a stressful. Um, I guess start of the year really uh, since January. It's been quite full on, so I gave, gave myself sort of a. Uh, a two week break, but we are now back and we are going to be smashing out content. We've got the Euros coming up, we've obviously got the transfer window period. So, obviously, as Norwich fans, we know that that's gonna it's gonna there's gonna be a lot of stirs in the pot, um, I guess. Um, but this video is to do with the transfer window, it's the new series that I'm gonna be starting. It's gonna be featured around five players. I'm gonna do buy, keep, or sell on those players. Some of these players will I'll be, will be looking to buy or rebuy or, or reloan. Um, or keep or sell to some players that are at a club. And this first episode is all about Timu Pookie. Um, I will be speaking about Wendia transfer rumours in tomorrow's video, which is a weekly roundup. We're back with those. Um, but yeah, this this is the first episode of a new series called Buy, Keep or Sell, where you hear my thoughts on five different players uh, either link with or play for Norwich City and what I think we should do with them, whether we should keep them, sell them, or if they don't play for us, do we buy them? Um, and you'll hear my thoughts in these videos. Um, but yeah, before we get into it, make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out on any more videos. And uh, yeah, let's jump straight into it and hear my thoughts about Timu Puki. Um, and the thing is with Puki, he is aging. You know, he's in his 30s now. I believe he's 30 or 31, one of the two. Um, so he isn't getting any younger. But we've seen with Timu Puki, he, can, he could age like fine wine. You know, scoring 29 league goals in his first season, 11 in the Premier League, which isn't a bad return. A lot of people called him a finished striker. Not a finish, a finished striker. Um, you know, he got more goals in the Premier League than Timo Werner, and uh, Timo Werner just gone on, gone on and won the Champions League. So, you know, I, you know Puki, Puki got a lot of disrespect in the Premier League. You know, 11 league goals for a side that finished rock bottom uh, with 21 points. You know, you've, you've got to give him some sort of respect. Um it's obviously very, very well, in my opinion, in the Premier League to get 11 league goals. Yeah, there were more towards the first half of the season and uh, less than in, in the second half. But we also take into account that he did play half the season with a toe injury. So, yeah, they're very well in the Premier League. And obviously in the Championship last, uh, this time out, scored 26 league goals. So another fantastic return for Timu Puki. Um, so it could show that he could age like fine wine and still carry on that goal scoring uh fine form that he is on um, during his time at Norwich City and almost become the, the second coming of Jamie Vardy I guess he's obviously aged like fine wine in his career at Leicester could Timu Puki become the same and that holds the argument is do we sell him now or in you know in, in the maybe in the next year or so or do we keep hold of him um, if he does perform well in the Premier League I guess um, but then again like I say he is aging he is coming in to the final year of his contract, it does run out next summer, um, so we could cash in on him now, um, which could be the could be the wiser thing to do if he is, like I say, if he is aging and he maybe he isn't getting any better than what he is, or he's getting worse, or he's slowing down, sort of thing. Maybe it is worth the idea of cashing in on him while we can, and then buying in a very very good striker uh, for for Premier League level for us. Um, that is obviously we, we won't be able to afford the likes of Erling Haaland or Kylian Mbappe. It will have to be a, sort of a 15 league goal, uh, 15 goal a season sort of striker for Norwich City. Um, but personally, I don't think we should should sell Timu Puki this summer. However, I think we should next summer. I think he'll do okay in the Premier League. I can't see him getting, you know, 20 goals a season again. Maybe double figures. Yeah, quite potentially, but. I don't see him being a 20 goal season striker and with his contract running out I think we do need to give him a one year extension to make sure that we do get some money off him. If he, you know, if he goes on and gets a 20 goal season um, sort of season then 100% let's keep him um, for the following season. Uh, yeah, Then he, he is showing the ages like 5-1. I do think we need to give him that one year sort of contract extension just to see how he does. So if he doesn't perform maybe to the standard we need him to this season in the Premier League then it is an opportunity to cash in on him next summer but I think we need to prepare ourselves for that I don't think Pookie's going to be around for ages I don't know if he will age like, like fine wine um, and become the second coming of Jamie Vardy or whether he'll kind of slow down now um, 
So personally, I think we need to see how this season pans out in the Premier League. If it does really well here, gets 20 plus goals a season, uh, keep him for the following season. But if not, as I predict, you know, maybe get 10 to 15 league goals. I think given that one year contract extension now um, and then cash in on him in the summer and buy someone who's younger um, and that has a similar playing style to Puki, someone who who can who Farker can work with, um, fingers crossed if Farker stays, um, and kind of build him up. Um, so that's my thoughts on Timu Puki. So in this buy, keep or sell, let's keep for now, but sell later on for Timu Puki. And if you have enjoyed this uh, new series, this first episode is a new series, make sure you like, subscribe, go click that notification bell so you don't miss out on any more videos. Also go follow my socials, the links for them will be down in the description and I shall see you guys later. Thank you.